Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Flossoween. I'm going to do an unboxing today of something that I bought at Target that I think is going to be pretty fun. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's going to be what I think it's going to be, or as cool as I think it's going to be. Um, so I'm trying to talk loud. I don't know if you can hear me or not um, without my microphone. Like I said, I'm still testing this new phone. I don't know how well it picks up sound, so I'm talking extra loud just in case. But let's go ahead and get started, and um, I want to show you what I bought. So yeah, I don't usually buy, um, I've actually never bought anything online from Target, but uh, I had heard on one of the Facebook groups that something that was available at Target that I wanted, and it actually was available in the, what do they call that, the dollar spot? Although not the dollar spot, I think this cost $5. And so I went online, and as far as I can tell, they don't have anything um, online that, you know, anything from like the dollar spot or the $5 spot at Target that you can get online. So... Uh, upon looking around the website, I found this, which was not $5. What did I pay for this? Mm, I'll put, I'll put uh, here down below how much I paid, but it ended up being free shipping because I have a Target card and I actually, ha when you don't use your Target card, it becomes, uh, inactive. And so you do have to, I think, make a purchase at least once a year. So while I was at it, I bought myself some pumpkin spice. Oh, I got to make sure I don't show my address. I bought some pumpkin spice Keurig coffee and by Green Mountain, which I love. I would say that I didn't love it the first time I had it, but now it's been three years that I've been having that, uh, the Green Mountain pumpkin spice coffee. And it's starting to be a recognizable taste of the season for me. So I really like it. It actually, uh, because I drink my coffee black, it. Um, okay, I just got distracted. Sorry. Because I drink my coffee black, it's, it has, you know, not an overpowering strong taste to it, but I think if you had cream and sugar, it would be really awesome. But I usually just drink my coffee black, so it's good. I like it. Okay, let's get started. Let's finish up here. Lots of packing material, which I hate. Oh, okay. It's not in a box. I thought it was going to be in a box. So this was the box. Interesting. Okay, so let me put this knife away before someone gets hurt. Okay, this is what I bought. It's a Halloween tree for me to hang my Milha ornaments on. I'm so excited. Every year I say I'm going to buy one of these. And this one... Okay, so it ended up being that the one in the dollar spot was just, um, it, it wasn't lighted up. It, was, it wasn't a light up tree. It was just, uh, I think there were two kinds. One had glitter and one didn't, but it was, it was just, um, yeah, it was not light up. So when I saw this one, and you know what? It's got a try me button on it. So I even had batteries all ready to go, but I don't think I need them. So let's see if this is going to work. Okay, well, let's do this first. Let's, let's, oh, so, okay, I like this. Now, who's it made by? Okay, I paid $15 for this. It's called a twig tree. Um, yeah, it's just said distributed by Target. So it's it's just a Target brand. So it's interesting, it didn't even come in a box. So, okay, I like it. It's nice and sturdy and look at it. It's got all these little branches that you can hang ornaments from. So it's got a weird texture to it. You know, it almost feels like, what do you, what's that, the, you, um, the gauze, like the gauze wrapping, you know, it's almost like it's, it's like a gauze that then has kind of has, or like a plastic gauze. So it's grippy. So I can tell that the, the ornaments are going to go nice on this here. So, Ooh, look at this. Love it. Okay. So you can see that it's got all these little branches that you can just bend and form. And I won't spend all the time doing that right now because you just don't need to see me doing that. We all know how to unfold a unfurl a tree. Okay, so let's, let's push the light and see if it goes on. Oh, look at that. 
Okay, so these lights, and I don't know if you can tell on there, there's orange lights, white lights, and yellow lights. So there's no purple lights, but you could actually, so actually this could be just a fall tree even, not just a Halloween tree because there's no purple lights. It's just, it's like the color of candy. Those lights are like the color of candy corns. Oh, that is so cool. And I didn't even have to drag my batteries out like I did to um, show you the demonstration. So isn't that cool? So I'm just holding the button. It doesn't blink. It's just um, you have to hold the button down to, to see it work. But can you guys just imagine all my Mill Hill ornaments on that? So it actually will last through all the fall season and the Halloween season. And you could even get a little string of purple LED lights as you get closer to Halloween so that you can then um, make it more of a Halloween tree as opposed to just a fall tree. I'm really happy with this and I'm so excited because it just it cost $15 and it was free shipping with my Target card and it took oh I don't know maybe I ordered it a week and a half ago it said it would arrive by the 21st and it did and but I think they did have some in stock in my local Target I just didn't want to go in the store but you could I could have done a free I mean a, like a free in-store pickup or curbside pickup but I just chose just have it delivered. It was free delivery, so I just waited a little longer for it, but I'm really happy with this. I love it. So let me see what kind of batteries it takes. Let's open up the bottom. Okay, it looks like it takes three AA batteries. Is that AA? Yep, three AA batteries. So I love that it's battery operated and you don't have to deal with a, a long plug having to come out of it, you know. So, okay, that's it, guys. That was my exciting thing that I wanted to show you. And I'm very excited about it. You know, it's the little things, right? Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.